Good morning, I'm Ken Say and welcome to Dragon Track. Yes, I have a new hat. Uh, I uh, decided uh, it was time. And uh, since I finally had the opportunity to visit the Naval Academy, I bought a hat there. And I, a compass too, because I forgot mine at home. I will be hiking about five miles today. It's going to be a short day. Morning. Uh, but as this is the first time with a real pack, sort of, uh, I uh, decided to divide this 17 mile section into three days rather than two or one uh, which was probably good because I uh, left the hostel at around 8.20 or 8.30 and it's 10 o'clock now and what did I do? I resupplied and uh, since I had three dinners and breakfast that I can hopefully stretch for oh I don't need three breakfasts I need two breakfasts since I had breakfast at the hostel today so I can definitely make that breakfast last and hopefully the, the stuff I bought at the Exxon station will be sufficient for this section of the trip is not what I had hoped for in the resupply, but it's what I had. And talking about the Axon station, to get there I had to cross a bridge over the Potomac River. And no one walks across that bridge, apparently. It's possible there is a walking lane. But there were so many spider webs that I have spider webs all over me. It was the worst silk blazing I've ever done in my entire Appalachian Trail career. To the station bottom. Union Station, Washington, D.C. Uh, my train was supposed to leave four minutes after I got here. Obviously, I didn't make that, so we will have to find something outside and get catch the next train. I just arrived at our first ferry by train from DC most recently. The first bus in Annapolis never showed up. I had to wait for an hour there. The second bus didn't stop where it was supposed to, uh, but it stopped just a little later so I could get to where I was, to the bus stop I was supposed to get the, the next bus. However, that bus was late but uh, so was this one, so I didn't miss it. <laughs> and going through town, uh, trucks had stopped way, so, so the bus had to reverse to the previous intersection just to be able to get out and get to the train station. I got on the train, Amtrak, and I only had four minutes to switch trains in DC, Union Station. So that didn't work, which meant I had to wait for an hour, 20 minutes for the next bus. So, uh, yeah, the trip did not go well. And this is what it looks like. I will be back here to 
do the Harper Ferry things later. And right now, the Appalachian Trail and the CNO Trail, which is biking trail, are in the same place. And in a while, they will split up and go their separate ways. It's pretty nice though. Uh, a little windy, which is good. And it uh, helps with the sunlight. We have a bit of river here, which is nice, even though the trees are in the way. More views of the Potomac River. This looks very much like ground, flat surface, but if we look at the branches over there, and in particular if we look at the branches over here and uh, the fact that there is clear water over there that is not solid ground it is water with a thin layer of something that makes it look like solid ground but it definitely is not. <laughs> that was a long train, a very long train, possibly the longest train I've ever seen. I even took my pack off just to wait for it to pass. Again, we have one of these ambiguous blazes. The blaze is on an island. There's a road to the left and there's a road to the right. Couldn't you make it a little bit clearer? I'm going to walk uh, there and see if I see another blaze further on and if not I have to look at forward and walking to the blaze clarified everything because there is a trail between the two roads with the white blaze so this blaze was actually properly posted in the middle I'm walking under the road there seems to be construction here. It smells like paint or, or something like that. There are plastic on the sides of the road. So, so there is definitely construction going on. There's a ladder up there to whatever they are doing under here. And the trail continues. And th there's a water source down there. And, and now the noise from the cars are much louder. I'm on my way up. And so far, it's been mostly these staircases where the steps are deep, but not very high unless there's rock and then their height and depth may vary. I took a quarter of a mile blue blaze to Weaverton Cliffs just to see the view. And here are the views. That's a Potomac down there. Looks a little more shallow than I expected, but with all the rocks, maybe I should have expected it. I'm assuming is the bridge I crossed this morning. We have railroad tracks. Ooh, and uh, down there you might even see that crossing after the island where the blaze was in the middle. It's been a nice day. It's 10 past 12. I have 
2.2 miles to go today. Yes, it seems short, and I selected it to be short because I wanted to divide this section to three days rather than two to ease into things. I am at Adgarvi Shelter. Looks nice. The roof is high, there's even an upper floor with the staircase in the back. Lots of pegs to hang up stuff on. The floor seems oiled or something because the floor is much better than in most shelters. In most shelters, the floor looks like this. So, so that is awesome. We sort of have views between the trees, but not really. You can't really see much. There's woods over there. There is a fire pit over here with benches. Luxury compared to most shelters. The water source is down that way, like 0.4 miles, and that is the first water source I've seen today. I'm assuming that that is the privy over there. There seems to be two buildings, and I haven't really investigated that place yet. This is the way upstairs. I have a bit of a landing or balcony or whatever you want to call it and the door inside and this looks just as good as downstairs does though if you have one of the if you sleep in there you might hit your head on the roof and I hadn't noticed but that in the middle is in the shape of an AT, which is awesome. This is, wait, is that glass? It may not be glass, but it's, I mean, it's windows. That is awesome. Hi, this is Editing Can Say. Unfortunately, I forgot to shoot an ending of uh, today's hike. So keep on checking.